Hey Aries, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your Soul Connection reading. Let's get started with a Oracle of Shadows and Light. Holy Spirit, what do we have for energy for Aries? I did say Aries, right? And not Sagittarius. You may be dealing with Sagittarius. We have Storm Angel. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, energies. Wow, I haven't gotten this one before. Storm Angel. Oh, it's the one that's on the book. So number 35, let's see what it says. There may be arguments, even angry situations and fights at the moment. Withheld energies are being freed so they can be released. You will uncover the truth about a situation as no one can lie when this angel is about her work. Any lies, deception, manipulation, and cheating will be revealed. The most important objective for you when the storm angel is about is to speak truthfully and act in integrity as all is about to become very transparent and her fierce bright light will reveal all that is hidden so it can be banished for good. That's it. Okay. So there may be arguments, but you know what I've noticed is that when um, there's a lot of fighting happening, it's because you really care. As long as you can understand that, that you don't have to agree on everything, I feel like um, you can get past this. I'm not feeling like this is just, it's like there's something that... Um, yeah, is is a collision of beliefs, but it, you don't have to believe the same way. Now, if it has to do with something like values that are very important to coexisting, then obviously that needs to be worked through. So let's see what the Twin Flame Journey Oracle has to say. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? And we have karmic partner. Now, I, it depends on what you believe, and you don't have to believe the way I do, but I feel like we all, all partners, all soulmates, all twin, twin flame journeys are karmic. We create good and bad karma, um, no matter what. But we'll see what else comes out. We have balancing the scales. So, this is the justice card kind of but i feel like sometimes it's like well you did this so i did this so i did this so you did that like tit for tat and we have the material world so um i feel like there is a balance coming i do feel that probably these arguments or these um this collision may have to do with finances and finances are one of the main things that tear couples apart so let's see what comes out here because this is your challenge here the material world all right so what is the recent past energy for aries or the soul connection and we have the six of cups memories and reunion but i feel like this is definitely a soulmate energy so basically this is memories this it's like uh remembering what brought you together this could be past life energy like you've been you've been in this long journey in previous lifetimes is what i'm trying to say all right so what's the current energy and we have the hanged man new perspective so someone's kind of closing off closing off their heart in a way because of this arguing fussing and fighting so our challenge is finances but let's see what the advice from spirit spirit is and we have the knight of pentacles so this is slow going trying to just keep at it it's like spirit is saying all will work out um, sometimes the knight of pentacles also represents like guardian angel energy that you have somebody um, 
you know, a passed on loved one or a guardian angel that's watching over you. And sometimes that's just enough to let you know that you're not alone and then you can feel supported um, moving forward. What is the outcome here? And we have this conflict, five of wands. So I definitely feel like this is just, um, things are not progressing uh, quickly enough for this to not continue to be an issue. The bottom of the deck, we have the moon card. And what spirit is bringing to my attention is that there's more to this than just finances, but that does seem to be the, um, the point of contention here. So let's clarify, what's the Six of Cups about? Show me the Six of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is destined. This is about um, timing and destiny for me. So definitely is your twin flame, if that's what you believe, but it's a soulmate regardless. Um, what is this hanged man about? And we have the Empress. So the divine feminine energy, but this is like, this is like telling me a new perspective about how abundant you really are like really being grateful for what you have. These are your own, both of your attitudes about the material world, about manifestations and not being so, it's like you really are abundant. You really are fertile. You just have to have that frame of mind, that perspective. So why is this material world a challenge? Clarify that for me, please. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, just like here, repeating energy. Because things are progressing, but they're, it's slow. And so it's like not meeting the demand of what you have for, you know, to maintain your household or whatever it is that you are working toward. So why is this Knight of Pentacles here? And we have the Six of Pentacles. So... I feel like, you know, there has been, it's this tit for tat. Somebody here probably makes more money than the other person. And so it starts to feel like it's one-sided, but there's other ways that besides just finances that contributions can be made to this relationship. So f focusing less on the financial and what are we talking about emotional, spiritual, um, physical. What is this five of wands about? Show me the five of wands. And we have the three of cups. So there is this, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting like this energy of what people are spending money on that creates. It could be you know, um, having fun and one person is spending money on having fun and another isn't. And that can be, um, that can bring about a lot of shadow to a relationship. So that's what was at the bottom of the deck, the moon there. And at the bottom of this deck is the five of swords. So this is what causes the contention here. And I feel like, um, you know, it's, it's like you've been together too long to let these trivial things come in between you so someone has to be the bigger person and say hey look we don't need to fight about this don't we know that we're destined to be together we know that we love each other remember when you know we first met and how in love we were this is what you have to get back to you have to get back to that and not let the fear of not having enough be what causes your fight okay yeah because it could really explode like that's the next card is the tower so you can you, it's like spirit wants you to know that you can intervene on this and understand that everything will balance out so this is just a tumultuous time financially for you and it's not what's at the core of your relationship. All right, let's get some guidance. Let's get a heart and soul message. 
What do we have for Aries? And we have this one here. And I love this before we even read it, that this rainbow is here. Like there is a storm brewing, but you know that a rainbow will come afterwards and the sun will come back. All right, beyond the light of this world, there is an inner light that always shines bright. Close your eyes and be guided by your inner light. Feel it flow through your entire body, your thoughts and emotions. Feel it relax and heal every part of you. Listen to the immortal dialogue between your soul and spirit. This is the never ending story of you. So I feel like this is encouragement for you to be the one um, to be the bigger person and be able to um, end up saying, look, there's no reason to fight over finances. Um, what is our relationship truly about? And it's about getting through these times together. So that is what came out for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.